Hello Lolos, welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And don't forget to join the chat box if you want exclusive content. That link is in the description bar if you don't see a join now next to the subscribe button. It is $1.99 to join the chat box and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. Now today I'm here with baby Vegas and Vegas was painted by me and will be soon rooted by me as well. Um, he is the Willow Asleep by Claire Teller. Um, he is a sold out kit. Um, as I mentioned in the previous video before, um, uh, let's see what else. Um, he is about 21, I think he's 21 inches, 22 inches, something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I am going to be honest with you guys. I get him dressed quite frequently since he's been like almost done. <laughs> like I said, I just have a few more touch-ups and then I can root him or whatever. But, um... I have babies ahead of him, not for rooting necessarily, but um, just finishing up. Also, guys, real quick before I get into changing him, I do want to let you guys know that I I have a plan in place. Oh, oh I never did get you a hat. I always forget to get you a hat. Um, I do have a plan in place for some babies to actually have some hair. Because I know you guys like... Be like, oh, I like your babies, but mm, I want hair. And I, I've been like struggling, you know, because I try to use the same router exclusively for my babies. But I am branching out, so we will see how that works out for us. But I will, right after the holidays, I will start to have babies that will be available with hair. I'm um, gonna start off with babies in my personal collection. Um, if you're interested in any of those babies, um, it'll be quite a bit of them that will be up for sale. I'm going to continue selling, um, but I want them to be rooted first. So the only babies that I, I know for sure that I plan to keep um, at this moment is um, Memphis, Zora, and Jersey. Um, I'm, well, Piper, but Lily Grace, um, Rio is up in the air. I've been really, but I want him rooted first and I'm going to put him at full price, um, because he's gorgeous and I don't need to discount him. So I'm going to, um, get him rooted and make a decision. Then I'll have him rooted, Charlotte rooted, and I'll probably sell Charlotte as well because, Charlotte will have probably most likely a replacement. You guys will see that later. But Charlotte, Rio, Lily Grace are three that are definitely going to be in line. My prototype Aspen, I am still on the fence with that one. That one is already rooted. And I may decide to let that one go in the future. Um... You know, with everything that's going on, some stuff means more to me and some things means less to me. That's just the way it is, to be honest with you guys. That's, I guess, maybe that's a part of the grieving process. I don't know. Who knows? Who really cares? Why? Sometime, I guess. Um, but, again, um, speaking of which, um, I, I know I say um a lot, but I... I realized the other day that I hadn't ate in a couple days. Like, it, I've been eating like snacks, little things here and there. Um, I've been eating like uh, roasted peanuts, raw roasted peanuts. I, well, they were raw and then I roasted them. But roasted peanuts. Um, and then I've been drinking, still drinking and drinking a lot of water and stuff. But I hadn't really sat down to eat an actual meal. And I didn't realize that. And it was like maybe the third, fourth day. And I'm like, oh gosh, I need to eat. Because I was starting to feel kind of weak. And I was like, why am I feeling weak? And then I realized that um, I hadn't ate 
I thought about it, I hadn't really ate ate. So I'm like, gosh, I hope I lose weight. Now that would be a good positive out of all this loss that I've had to suffer. Can I lose some weight? Like, can that be one of my loss? <laughs> like, like, God, please, I, you know, you've been taking everything else away from me. Can you take some of this weight away from me? You know, and I meant that that was a sincere prayer. Um, but, um, but then, um, I was my guy, he, you know, I had to take my car. Like, l listen, this is, this, is, this is the way my life been set up. Okay, let me show y'all these pants, though. This is the way my life been set up. Um, on my way to my grandmother's repast, my check engine light came on my car. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So, I was kind of hesitant, but I said, oh, well, if I break down on the way there, oh, well. So, I I, I, I go there, and it, it does fine, but, of course, me, I am very paranoid about my cars. So, I take it to get checked out. Find out what the problem is. Okay, so that cost me some money, right? But my guy was like, oh, I'll pay for it, right? Because he's like, basically like, oh, that's your Christmas gift. Because <laughs> it was a quite healthy price. So anyway, a healthy price, healthy price. Because um, nothing was healthy about having to pay that. But anyway, um, let me get to the point. Long story. Oh my gosh, I'm just running off at the mouth, guys, with you guys lately. But he so we we he he pays for that and while my car is waiting he's like well he he's like you want to go to Hobby Lobby and I'm like Hobby Lobby you know that's like a painter a crafty person artist whatever you want to call it dream like we love Hobby Lobby and Michaels and all these places right art stores so I was like sure so um he was like well I'm gonna look at Christmas stuff I was like okay let me show y'all this. <laughs> So he was like, I'm going to look at uh, Christmas stuff. I was like, okay, well, you could go ahead. I'm going to look at, I was looking at stuff to do these roses. And then I was looking at, um, I was looking at, uh, what else I was looking at? Oh, then of course I went to looking at, you know, different stuff. Just different little craft stuff or whatever. And he calls me over and he's like, you want to get this? That You could put your babies in this. Or, you know, little baskets and stuff like that. A little Santa thing. He he, he had put in a basket. I put it back though eventually. Because it had glitter on it. I was like, uh-uh. Um, for Jasper. And then he was like, so he was just like, oh, your babies could use this. And your babies could. I'm like, so basically somebody got to die for this man to buy me something for my dolls. <laughs> and I should, and you know, that's my my thought process. But you know, I didn't say that. But he did. He has bought me something for the dolls before. He has like contributed long years ago. But then he realized that I had a serious addiction and a problem. I guess he didn't want to like help feed that monster. But um, <laughs> I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe he's actually like looking for stuff for my babies that was crazy so it was pretty cool but anyway I thought that was funny but I have all this Star Wars stuff I don't know why I like it so much um I've had this for a while I actually bought these just for him but I also have this which is three to six months and I again like that other one I don't know if he would be able to fit it. But I really want to start trying him on different colors. But I really like him in just a diaper. I mean, don't y'all agree? He's so cute in just a diaper. But I got him these pants. And they're um, the Yoda, I guess. A Star Wars, a Yoda, whatever. I didn't know that Star Wars and Yoda was this part of the same show. Because here's the funny part. I've never watched Star Wars. Yeah, no, I never watched Star Wars. My friend's like what so it's so funny that I actually buy this stuff and like it because I've never watched the show so it means absolutely nothing to me you know what I mean it's kind of like when you guys tell people love you sis and it means absolutely nothing to you this is how this works this is like Yoda it's just a cute little green thing I like the colors that they have for them that's about it I don't care nothing about the rest. Now, this onesie part looks like it's a little too big. So, I have been putting him on white all the time. And I feel like the white colors make him look lighter. 
Now there's nothing wrong with being lighter. It's just that I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you've been told. Do, 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 do. Say something. Um, I really love him in this. Like I love him, love him. Oh, I wish I was live so I could ask you guys. Oh, and I have the the socks. To ask you guys, like, which one to put him on? Should I try to put him on this? This is make him really cuddly, but these are make him cuddly too. Let me see what color socks I got. Okay, so I got gray and I got the green. So basically, I could go with any of these. I could go with this. But this is gray and brown. So if I do that and then go with this and then try to put the gray socks on. I can still slide on him. <sighs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's chill. Let's settle down. That gray is actually for Memphis. That's what I know I was buying it for because I had no clue when I bought that that I would even get this person to give in to me. And my begging ways. Now, I don't promote you guys begging people. You know, you got to know who you can beg and who you... <laughs> Listen, I'm not promoting begging. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm not promoting beg begging. But sometimes, we we as collectors be like whole hoarders. And artists mainly. People got kits in their closet from 1962. Like, I literally have, um, like, old kids that the people have, like, they're no longer with us, you know, like, on the earth. Like, people have <clears throat> passed away, and I still have, you know, kids from when they were a thing in, in my stash. And other people, they do the, <coughs> sorry choking off my own spit um they do the same thing they hold on to to the the kids and they don't they be like oh i'm gonna paint it one day but they never get around to it i mean i had a kid i have kids in here that i just knew as soon as it came i was gonna paint them but it never happened so they're just here and god knows how long they're gonna be here i have kids i held on to that knox kit by uh, Lorely Eagles for about almost three years. And I paid extra. I paid more than the kit cost um, to buy that kit from, you know, a lady that, that, that buy kits and sell them wholesale. Um, and I, I bought it, but I never, never painted it, never was going, never found nobody to paint it for me because I could never decide if I should try to paint it myself or send it to someone else to paint for me. That is kind of baggy on him, to be honest. Um, but we'll, we'll roll with it for now. Um, or should we? I have a white. That looks so baggy on him. I guess if I, maybe I just won't put him on the pants right now because, I mean, but yeah, so I eventually went ahead and sold it um, because I still haven't switched out his little eyebrows, but yeah, I eventually went ahead and sold it because it was just like a waste. I'm going to put him on brown socks since we, you know, kind of still... The reason why I'm going to put him on a brown hot socks because I have this brown hat that he going to wear. Because it fit his little egg shaped head just fine and it says thankful for my family. And then, oh no, it really don't match. Okay, maybe we need to find you a gray hat. I don't know what else. What is going on? Why can't we find you something here? Where is my gray hat? See, if you was a little girl, I could just throw you on a headband and call it a day. But he not a girl, and we not finna do that to him today. Not today. So, yeah. 
So, ooh, I found a gray hat, y'all. I found a gray hat. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, look at this little egghead. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I model his head a little bit too, so just so. Just so because I knew I wasn't gonna root him no time soon. There you go. Look at your ears all warm. You could go out with me to finish Christmas shopping because I just stopped, y'all, with everything was going on. I just stopped. I just, oh, I just can't do it no more. Let me see. Let me see. Look at this, look at, look at, look at this little boy. Oh my God, y'all. I love this baby so much. You know, despite everything, I know some of y'all may not be religious and y'all got y'all different religion or whatever, but this is my channel, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the glory to God right here today. <laughs> but despite everything, God has been so good to me. You know, I can't really complain. Um, even with my grandmother, he saved her life so many times when, you know, people with less health conditions didn't even make it. She survived COVID. She had congested heart failure. She she was a strong lady. Strong, strong. Now, I'm trying to debate. Should I put him on pants? I just don't be want to cover up his little self. Um, and then, you know, you got the little socks. <laughs> Cause he got brown right there. I'm just thinking, should I? Should I? Should I? Should I be worried? Should I be afraid? But anyway, like I was saying, God has been good to me. I've still been blessed with so many things and so many reasons. Um, so just keep pressing on, Lord. Ooh, I sound like them old people. Child, next thing you know, I'm be smelling like mothballs. <sighs> I can't do it. I don't want to smell like mothballs, God. But I am sounding like an old lady. But for real, he has been so good to me. I, I literally, myself, coated blue years ago. And they were, they couldn't bring me back. And they were bringing the shock like vax in. And then I, I came too. And uh, oh my gosh, the nurse was so, she was so happy. She was a pretty little white nurse. And I'm, I say white because we need, sometimes I have to say the colors because I need to let y'all know that, you know, <laughs> everybody ain't racist because she didn't let my black butt die. But anyway, she was so happy that I, um, <laughs> that I came to she 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 was like, oh you're so pretty and she kissed me it was like the movies you know and um but the black nurse oh my gosh you gotta love us um soulful little ind individuals she she's I went to pass them back out again and the lady she said pop, pop, slap me in my face she said not on my watch <laughs> I woke up quick did them slaps though baby <laughs> Auntie wasn't playing, but uh, I thank God for for those slaps. <laughs> and um, they were telling me that because of how long I was out, I could have been brain dead. Because um, you can't, your brain can't go without oxygen. I think over seven minutes or something like that, and it had been over that that I was without oxygen. They couldn't. It it just was nothing happening for me. Oh my goodness, look at that little boy. Like, do you want to cover up those feet? Do you want to build a snowman? No. Do you want to build a Yoda? No. I don't know, like, I don't know how to feel. Okay, we're going to put, let me see. Oh, I don't, I don't want to do it. I don't like it. I don't like it, y'all. We're going to leave his, his feet out. Now when he get ready to go outside, we gotta cover them up cause look at them little ankle bones. Oh my gosh. That's the thing. Claire Sculpton is very beautiful. Look at you. 
Look at you, baby. Vivi, Vivi, Viva, 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 Um, but anyway, all my videos have been really long, but I, I figured that y'all need to spend time with me. <laughs> Actually, I need to spend time with y'all. Why he got his foot on my baby chest? Look at him. I thought somebody said something. <laughs> he looked like, look, look at his face. I thought somebody said something. <laughs> oh gosh, so yeah, um, Gabby and her dad was like shopping and um, Christmas shopping. They bought stocking hangers and stockings and stuff for the fireplace and <laughs> oh gosh, Gabby just, she's so full of energy when she's around him. He he lets her, you know, pick out anything she wants. So she's just having a ball. And I'm like, you better not pick out nothing ugly because it ain't going to my house. But, um, oh, look at these. We should put them on these because they don't even have nothing to do with outfit. Oh, well, he just, like I said, he ain't gonna wear socks. But anyway, that that's it for today, y'all. I think he's cutie kapatootie. I think he's still gonna be cuddly and able to be held. Well, cause they feel so nice when you hold them when they have on like little cuddly clothes. His little armatures are just boop. <sighs> Guys, I have some doll related topics that I want to talk about, but I, I'll talk about them in the next video cause we just had too much fun getting him dressed so I'm glad you guys hung out with me and this is basically what I do except for talk to myself um when I'm not on camera I go through the motions on what I'm gonna put the babies on oh he has shoes he could have wore these shoes yeah not dress shoes with them I don't think so that ain't gonna work sit down somewhere girl you don't know what you're talking about anyway um, yeah, but this is basically what I do off camera, um, is enjoy my babies and dress them and go back and forth and make a mess. That's why my room stay a mess half of the time because I can't never decide what I want to put the baby on and I pull out all these things and then I get distracted and, you know, I got to take something out of the oven or something just cured or I got to paint another layer or, and I stop doing what I'm doing here and run there. So it's like, it's, I'm all over the place. So yeah, nothing never stays in order, but look at look at him. Isn't he cute? Such a blessing. Um and I know people are like, oh it's just a doll, it's not a blessing. Y'all just don't the doll collectors understand it is comforting to be able to hold them, have something heavy laying against your chest when you can't barely catch your breath and you're breathing hard and all that great jazz and I know I keep sharing parts and parts of my emotions with you guys because I just want you guys to know that we are still human people and yes I am not going to lie about this process this is different and I don't I'm just still trying to figure it out and trying to get through every day but this hobby seriously have really helped me the people in the hobby has really helped me um I am so thankful for my sis in, these, in this community. Like, you guys have been so amazing. Um, my mom is having a hard time. My grandparent, grand, grandfather's having a hard time. But this community have a way of uh, really, you know, certain people really reach out to you and really check on you. And some of them may be just doing it without sincerity but most of the time I, I think that they are sincere and even if they're not it's just having that knowing that someone actually care about you or even taking the energy to to check on you um or just send a, a funny or something it's it means a lot it does it really does um 
especially when you have people going through their own stuff. Oh my gosh, one of my sisters in the community, um, I know this video is going longer than it is, but um, Forever Reborns, and I, I mentioned her, and a lot of you guys have reached out, but Forever Reborns, y'all, this girl, a late woman, go through so many health issues, and so, I mean, so much more than you would think a human person could bear. And she literally have reached out to me almost every day and checked on me. And it's, that is a lot, you know? It's, it's a lot. It's really, really, really kind. Um, so I appreciate you guys. And then I, you know, I, I have people that I talk to on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, I got a care package, which I did a video of it, but then I was like, maybe I just should keep that personal. I don't know. I should check with her and see if I could upload it. But, um, yeah, I got a care package. It was really cute. A bunch of notes and stuff. And it was like shortly after everything happened. So it is, you know, and it's not about giving. That's the thing. It's not about giving. It's, it's just the thought that count and through Linda death I met this well I've been new you know knew her or whatever but we hadn't had personal personal conversations and stuff and since then I mean she has been amazing and she sung she sung to me like sing to me on a, in a message and uh it was so freaky a little bit though because her voice sound like my grandmother so crazy it 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 kind of like I was like whoa but anyway um we have you know been chatting you know periodically and it's been so comforting for both you know the situation of losing um Linda in the community and with my grandmother you know it's it, you meet some amazing people and you don't know when, why things happen and why people come into your lives. But when they do, I mean, even if it's just for a moment, it's just so um, amazing how the world works. Yeah. So anyway, I am actually doing pretty well. Hey, I am. But... Like, you know, we have our moments. But I just wanted to say that part. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. And again, this is another long video. I may just skip it for a little bit. So you guys can take a break from the first long video. But, yeah. Anyway, see you guys later. Let me know what babies you guys would like to see next. Which babies y'all would like for me to address and all that. And I'll I'll do a video.